Next I'm going to show you how to use the intervals that you created as a color strategy for a design situation. In this case for the compositions of depth we're going to try to use our colors to show depth. So taking into consideration the fact that warm colors will advance forward, cool colors will recede backwards, and differences in value create uh, depth as well, and also uh, differences in saturation. So more saturated, uh, more intense colors will come forward, and less saturated, more muted colors will push to the background. And so we're going to use the color intervals that we created for the previous assignment to use to use as color strategies in a design situation. You'll need to select two of the four intervals that you created. Select one of your analogous intervals. I'm going to choose this warm analogous with the reds and the yellows. And I'm going to just put it down here on the left. And I'm going to go ahead and delete my cool analogous interval since I'm not going to use that one. So I'm just clicking and dragging a box around it to delete it. And I'm actually just going to go ahead and use my red to green interval. So I'm going to delete my magenta and blue green interval so that I'm using one of my analogous intervals and one of my warm to cool low key inter and my warm to cool low key interval. So again, you're going to create a design. For this assignment, you need to use circles for your design. So you first need to establish a background. Um, so you do need to draw, first of all, a square with the rectangle tool so that you have a background. And it's important to use color in the background of your design because the background is an important part of any kind of design. When you're designing with color, you need to take into consideration both the foreground and the background. And then you create the design basically using using circles. Now we've selected the elliptical tool over on the left hand side, this, this shape tool here, the ellipse tool. And we're going to click and drag out circles. To, to draw a circle, you need to constrain the proportions of the shape as you draw it so that it doesn't end up looking like an oval. So to keep it constrained to the proportions of a circle, you no, need to hold down Shift or Command. And that will automatically force the, what, the shape that you're drawing into a circle and keep it as a circle. That way, you'll ensure um, making uh, a per drawing a perfect circle each time. And then you just come up with the design, decide what you want your design to look at like. Keep in mind that you want to create an illusion of depth. So you'll want to use the design principles that have to do with depth. For example, um, one way to create depth is to overlap shapes. You can select um, multiple shapes here. And I'm just going to copy all of them. And then I'm going to take this top row of shapes and just kind of make them larger so that I am kind of increasing the size of my shapes. And maybe I'll just delete that one so that I end up with four on this top row. And then maybe I'll copy a couple more of the shapes here. So again, I'm just using circles to create this design. And I'm thinking about how I want to use these circles in a composition that emphasizes depth. So I'm using variations in size here to show depth. Um, Things that are smaller tend, tend to appear to push backwards into the background, um, into the distance. Things that are larger tend to come forward and advance in space. So, And also overlapping your shapes will create a sense of depth as well. So the um, shapes that are on the bottom layer will appear to be behind the shapes that are on the top layer. So think about all of those things as you're coming up with your composition and design. and also try to balance your design to make it interesting and engaging. So you can create any kind of design that you would like to. Um, and of course, you can always manipulate it and play with it some more once you start draw bringing in the colors. So let's just say this is the design I've chosen. Um, now I need to copy it over because I need to create two of the same designs. And now I'm going to apply the colors from my intervals to the design. So the first thing you need to do to be able to do that is select your intervals. And you have to expand them. You have to uh, basically gain access to each of the colors in these squares. So go to Object Expand.
and go ahead and leave all these check marks filled and hit OK. And basically what that does is that allows you to individually manipulate each of these colors. Um, of course now you have um, taken them apart, broken up the blend, so you can't blend them together anymore. But of course you can always you know, hit Control Z to undo if you do you know, decide that you wanted to go back to blend them. Or you can always re-blend them and do another blend. So blending is easy enough and fast enough that you can always go back to do it um, at a later time if you if you want to change your colors. Now you don't have to use every single color in the interval in your design. You can choose to use some and not others. Um, I'm going to put the yellow color into the background here and sort of work my way up through the, the rows of my circles that I've drawn to try to create a sense of depth and basically make the warmer color, which is the orange, come forward in space and the cooler color, which is the yellow, recede backwards in space. Um, and a attempting to kind of create a sense of the illusion of depth. Now I'm not really happy with the fact that I'm using the black outline around my shapes or the stroke, so I'm going to um, select this design and I'm going to eliminate all of the strokes from this design. So what I'm actually going to do is go over here to the uh, stroke color and click on the drop down arrow and then select the um, white box that has a red slash through it to set my stroke to none and in a minute you'll see what that does. If I deselect everything you see that it's eliminated the black outline. Of course you know you can always experiment with that outline. You can always make that outline a specific color if you want to uh, play around with how that might affect your design and of course you can make it uh, different thicknesses by changing the thickness of the stroke. Um, you can also change the uh, characteristics of the stroke in terms of the style, um, etc. There are all kinds of things you can play around with here, but basically the aim is to um, come up with a composition that shows depth and uses the intervals that you have created across the bottom. So make sure that you pre present your work in this method where you have your intervals underneath labeled and then your design on top and make the design the same in both and then just um, apply the intervals. Now of course if you're not happy with the colors that you've chosen in your intervals you can always create a new interval or adjust the interval. Um, you'll need to re-blend to, to uh, remix all of the colors to adjust the interval so um, you can't just you know sort of arbitrarily pick and choose different colors you have to actually create another interval if you decide that you want to change the interval but that is certainly something that you can experiment with um, and of course you might also want to experiment with overlapping your shapes to create more depth um, adding more contrast into your uh, into the colors that you're using um, copying your shapes over to you know change the characteristic qualities of the composition just make sure that if you decide that you know this is the composition you prefer then you have to make sure that you keep the composition the same for both designs. So then you would need to come over here to this design and change the colors for it as well. So feel free to experiment with contrast and uh, with the colors in your interval. Again, you don't have to use all of the colors in your interval, but this is a a good exercise for understanding how to create a sense of depth in your design, not just by um, using design principles, but also through using color.